everyone, so in my last video I got quite a few comments being like, nobody cares about Comic Sans, it's papyrus we all hate. Get with the program. And I totally get where you're coming from, so let's take a few minutes to talk about the other most hated font in the world, Papyrus. Once again, it was not delivered to this world by evil aliens trying to destroy any notion of an aesthetically pleasing society, and it doesn't have a tragic, almost cinematic story like Comic Sans of being designed for one very specific purpose and then spiraling completely out of control. No, it was designed by a man named Chris Costello in 1982. He shopped it around to 10 type companies, and eventually it was picked up and distributed by Letraset. These days it's owned by ITC, the International Typeface Corporation, but I kinda doubt anyone's actually buying it anymore since it's included as a system font on both Windows and Apple computers. If you did want to buy it though, here's the description you'll find online. Papyrus is a Roman calligraphic typeface with distinct human touches, like rough edges, irregular curves, and high horizontal strokes in the caps. It imparts a warm and friendly ambiance for everything from restaurant menus to book covers. So how and why was Papyrus designed? Well, I'm going to link below to an interview that the website I Heart Papyrus did with designer Chris Costello, but here are some of the highlights. Being designed in the 80s, Papyrus was completely drawn by hand, using tools like the rapidograph pen, and rulers and triangles and French curves. It took about six months to draw all the characters required for the typeface, and at first it was only designed with uppercase characters, but then he added the lowercase to make the typeface more versatile. As Chris Costello said, it's kind of a long quote. I'm, I'm just gonna read it. I took a calligraphy pen and some textured paper and just started drawing old looking alphabets in many different styles. I was thinking about the ancient Middle East and I then began writing words, dates, and phrases from the history of that time in all uppercase lettering. I soon came up with what I thought vernacular writing might have looked like if the English language existed 2,000 years ago. It probably would have been written on papyrus and I figured that would be the perfect name for the font. So just like Comic Sans, it's not necessarily a terrible designed font. It takes a lot of skill to design a typeface, especially one that gets used so much. But that's just the problem. Being an included system font on almost every computer for the past 10 years, it's just been overused in so many inappropriate situations that we'll never know if it could have flourished if it was only available to real designers who were willing to pay for it if it actually suited their specific project. It draws so much attention to itself and it's so often associated with cheap or faux historical products, that is really no wonder why it's become so hated. It's a typeface that should have just been a forgotten relic of the 80s, but instead has stuck around for far too long, appearing everywhere from blockbuster movies to church flyers made by middle-aged women who have just discovered gradient overlay, and stroke, and Babylon and Boss and Outer Glow. So what are some good alternatives? Try searching my fonts or any other font website for tags like organic, rough handwriting. Try something like Alana, Origins, or Yana. There are so many better choices out there that please just whatever you do, don't contribute to the spread of even more papyrus in this world. Not even ironically. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and check out all the links that I've put down in the description if you want to learn more about papyrus. I'll see you all again right here next week. Drastic. How can you hate a font that's so fantastic?